Hi guys. Hot and sweaty, hot and sweaty. Uh, yeah, the temperature turned for a while, but like the next month or two, and then to next month it'll go really hot and cool, really hot and cool, back and forth here in Texas, northeast Texas. And uh, John was out there, he's out there clearing the forest back where I left off, and he felled a tree, pretty good sized tree, and it went on top of the fence and I did not want the fence torn so I hobbled out there with my broken toe and helped him pull it off the fence so yeah don't want to chop it and tear up the fence then we have to fix the fence so that's working backwards okay guys listen um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit now when it comes to trauma you guys should have listened to my trauma video you know that I don't know what's on your list, but um, I would imagine it's on my list or something similar. And then I've done a lot of videos on how to deal with that trauma. Really, it's just practice. There isn't any uh, magic pill unless you believe it to be so. And usually, if you're very traumatized, you can't get to that point of believing that it just doesn't matter. If you did believe that, then it would just be over in a second. But most of the time, the trauma interferes with that. So it just takes time and time and time, over and over and over, to get to that place where that trauma just doesn't bother you anymore, and then to the place where the trauma was you doing it, and then to the place that everything works out great no matter what kind of trauma you've been through. So that just is practice, guys. Lots and lots of practice. Uh, with my NDE, it took seven years uh, to really get good at it um, I know you don't want to hear that but like I said NDE coming back with full recall uh, does not make the doing any any less drudgery it still takes a lot of time and a lot of persistence and like I've told you guys before I never stop and never quit I'm extremely tenacious and stubborn so uh, that's what you've got to do and talking about it and getting into it emotionally will not help and uh, a lot of people I've talked to and they go over these traumas and really you don't need to with me all you gotta do is say what trauma you're talking about and I can find it vibrationally I can go back in your life and find it so you don't need to go there with me at all all it does is, is hurts it hurts you it hurts me so you don't need to go back into it just watch my other videos and do it that way now to find it you might touch on it you might feel it but there is no reason to keep going over these things that you're unhappy with these things that traumatize you please stop talking about them and stop talking about them in a way that you feel and there's tears in your eyes and you withdraw from people that is not doing you any good it's not doing anybody else any good it's not doing the planet any good you can analyze them from an objective standpoint and then get to the point where you can uh, look at them and take them from a bad space into a good space but you need to do that from afar do not get in involved with all the emotions and cause yourself to create more drama and trauma for you in your what you will visualize what you'll see as your tomorrow okay so what do we do now now that you're spending some time going back and and looking at the trauma and you know that you're a creator God and you know that you created all of that bad stuff it was nobody else's fault there's nobody to blame there's nobody to ask to save you there's nobody who you need to forgive nobody at all now you've got this you're a creator God you created all of it in the past now you can create whatever you want now let's move forward now let's move forward what do you do to create what you want well there's infinite possibilities I've given you my version of 5d earth and there are some general principles like um, people don't sprout wings generally here in, in didn't in 3d earth because there was kind of this rule that uh, you can't do that there was a rule that gravity worked so you step off a bridge and you fall to your death that was sort of just agreed on by the collective consciousness and there are some of those guidelines in 5d earth as in you can't have the lower vibrations there because of the instant manifestation and the no fear place 
So you agree to that. So it's not a rule against you. You agree to it because that's what the collective wants to have occur in that fifth dimensional plane on planet Earth. So how do you get from here to 5D Earth? What do you do? Well, easy. You are a little bit happier, a little bit happier, a little bit happier. You catch yourself whenever you're thinking, saying, or doing something negative. Catch yourself. Have somebody else catch you. And change those. Laugh at yourself about them. Oh, that's a good one. Let's start smiling and laughing again. Remember what that was? Smiling and laughing? You know, as a, as a little kid, you smile and laugh all the time, and then it just, fi just slowly goes away, less and less and less. And we're less happy and less happy and less happy the older we get. Do you see a correlation there? Laugh, play, happy, happy, happy. Less, laugh, play, less happy. Right? Uh, Jesus said that, become like the children. It's kind of what he was talking about vibrationally. Blow things off. Don't let things get to you. Don't hold things against people. If they come steal your toy, you don't hate them forever. Little kid doesn't. Adult does. Yeah. If you break their toy, don't hold it against them forever. Like an adult does. Adults be like the children. Laugh. Play. I don't know what you're laughing about. Uh, you don't want to laugh at others' expense. You don't want to laugh because somebody tripped and fell and hurt themselves. Mainly because vibratorily it's not the highest. But uh, let's laugh more. Yeah. Um, play more. And I don't mean work play. I mean play play. You know. Remember playing tag? Frisbee? Running and playing with your dog. Not just walking your dog. But you know running and playing with your dog. Remember that? Hide and seek with the cat in the forest. You guys do that? I do. I do. Uh, teaching your bird to talk. Play. Play. Go volunteer where there are children and play with them. Now you're going to remember how to play. Go hang out with the kids. Kids will teach you how to play. If you don't organize them to death and, and organize all the play out of them and just play with them instead of making them play like you want to, you are going to teach them to play. You know, get down with a, a two and a three year old that will not listen to you anyway, which is why I love them so much. It's because they pay no attention to adults. I get down and crawl around with them. Uh, I love two and three year olds. And I do crawl around with them and, and find out what they find fascinating. How beautiful a dandelion really is. How much fun it is to watch the ants. Remember ants? Ants are so much fun to watch, and I don't mean burn with a piece of glass. I mean, watch them do what they're doing. You can do that with nature, period. But find your play and go do it. Go find out what your play is. And I don't mean play uh, as in going shopping. <laughs> what is your play that does not entail consumerism? <laughs> play without that. Go somewhere and learn to play again. Music, of course. If you're an artist, your art. Uh, and my three go-tos. Of course, your instant, your instant makes you happy, followed by happy music, followed by happy movies, followed by scheduling days, hours of play. Okay? The more you do that, the more things will be brought to you that will make you happy and that will encourage you to play. The happier you are, the more playing you're doing, the higher your vibration becomes. And as you do that, you will find that the stuff that you are buying to fill up that void uh, really becomes less and less important uh, because buying that Ferrari that you can drive for a second but it takes a lot of time to keep it up then all of a sudden it's not fun anymore so the the stuff that you play with it doesn't cost you anything and doesn't cost you upkeep or get it out and put it up that's the most fun type of play where it's easy where it just flows. You know, I like to climb up rocks, not sheer cliffs that are 200 feet in the air. No, no, no. I like to crawl up boulders and big old boulders and jump between them. I like that. I like doing that. Um, I like exploring forests. I love that, as you guys probably know. I just love exploring them, seeing how long it takes me to figure them out. It's really easy to get lost in a forest. So, I like to see how long it takes me to be able to move around and identify things in a forest so that I know my way around and know my way out. Actually, I, I get it done pretty fast now. 
like two trips in an area, I, I can I can recognize it. Great fun. So find your fun that is not in buying something or doesn't cost you anything to do or very little to do at least. Very little to do. Okay? Go have fun. That's where we're going to start. Uh, if you're interested in the fairy, the magical beans, start imagining seeing them, meeting them, sitting down and, and um, having a picnic with them. What would you talk about? What would you ask them? Think about it in your mind. What would you do? How would that? What would that look like? What would that look like? If you want to see dead people, you want to see the people that are past. You can do that in 5D too. What would you say to them? How would they look? How would you invite them in? Put up a picture to all of this. Your Creator God, you need to to uh, envision how these things work instead of just um, saying, "Well, what happens to me?" Well, yours is going to be individual to you. So. I'm going to throw it back at you. Well, what does it look like to you? What do you want it to look like? I can tell you what I want it to look like. I know what it'll look like for me. But tell me, what does yours look like? What does it look like moment to moment? When you first see a fairy, what are you going to do? When you see it first see your first alien, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? How are you going to act? How are you going to act? See, it's those things, those, those details. Go ahead and play with them. Now let them be fluid. It's just you put them out there like, I want it to be like this. In other words, the universe will feel the vibration, the feeling that you're having. So they may not have the picnic look exactly like you pictured it. But the picnic or the get-together will feel very much like you were feeling when you saw it. That's what you're going to send to the to the universe. How does it feel when you do these things? How does it feel? How does it make you feel? And be excited in the moment. Now, don't ask me when it's going to happen. It, it's going to happen for you when you decide it's going to happen. Okay? All of us will get there at a different time. All of us will. A different time, a different place, a different way. That's the whole point of it all. Right? So happier and happier and happier learn to play smile all the time there's no excuse for not smiling why not smile it's just as easy to smile as it is to or you can go walk around like this all day long well they say it takes less muscles to smile than it does to frown so it's easier to smile so just go around smiling because when your mouth smiles, eventually your eyes will start to smile. And when your eyes and your mouth start to smile, your body will start to smile. And when you walk from place to place, people will turn and go and smile back. And that way you will make, you don't have to stop eating meat or um, uh, go save the rainforest. And you will change the world moment to moment in massive, massive ways. By just smiling all the time. Smile at lo your loved ones. Smile at people you don't know. Say hi. Just say hi. Smile and say hi. That's it. Don't go up to people. Don't force yourself. They're scared. Everybody's scared. You know that. You understand that. Just smile. Say hi. And move on. Yeah. I, I tend to give people compliments. Men, women, old, young. Uh, if they have beautiful eyes, I tell them that. If their hair is a beautiful color, I tell them that. If they have cute shoes, I tell them that. Uh, if they open the door for me, I say, oh, that's so gentlemanly. I really hand out compliments a lot. You know how it makes you feel when somebody compliments you? Thank yous, I'm sorry's, smiles, little compliments that don't require anything back from the person. You don't want them to feel like they owe you. Make it easy for them. Make them easy to return the smile that you're not coming at them. Make them easy whenever you do a little compliment and then walk on your way. That you're not requiring anything of them. Make it easy for them. Then they will smile a little bit longer that day. And look at the chain. Chain reaction. The change you can make around the world. It's amazing what happens. If every one of you that listened to me just smiled from now on everything would change so wicked fast. You would not believe it if you would do that. 
That's all. And I know all I've got to do is get through to you, to a handful of you, and we can change and make things change around the world wicked fast. I don't have to have a million views. I just need 100 or 200 or 300 of you to really get it and to start doing it. Little things. Little things. Don't look for the giant path that you're supposed to be on. Smile all every day. Maybe that's your path. Maybe that's all you got to do. Play every day. Maybe that's your path and that's all you're supposed to do. You can change the world, you know. Okay? Alrighty. Smile. Play. Laughter. Don't let those other things sneak in. And let's start visualizing, feeling what we want tomorrow to look like in a good way. Okay? Alright, guys. Huge hugs. I love you bunches. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.